What's up guys and welcome back to the Wax Mode Detailing channel. Now today's video I'm going to be covering a four month durability update between the Hybrid Solution Ceramic Spray Coating from Turtle Wax up against the Griot's Garage Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax. Now I'm just over 18 weeks of total durability of these products being on the paint and of course I've got the Griot's Garage Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax applied to the front door here, two coats applied to that door. And then I've got two coats of the Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating applied to the rear door here. Now the paint is still dirty at this point. It has not been washed since I did the last durability video, which was at three months of total durability. So it's been a little bit over a month since I last cleaned the paint. We've been getting absolutely hammered with rain almost every single day for the last couple of weeks here in Florida. And so I'm going to follow the same protocol as the previous durability update. So I'm going to rinse the paint down when it's still dirty. Then I'll pull out Carpro Reset as my soap, give the paint a good wash down, and then show you guys the rinse down after washing the paint. Now with this rinse here, I can see right away that the Grio Ceramic Wax has held up, and it's held up at a very good level at this point. Now for those of you who did not see the previous durability video, these products, I have not been topping them at all throughout the duration of this durability test. So this is just their bare bones performance at two coats applied each. And I can certainly see that the, the Hybrid Solution Ceramic Spray Coating is definitely showing signs of being much more weathered compared to the Griots at this point. And on this door section here, it's a little bit hard to see with this color. Uh, and so hopefully you guys can see it through the camera. But above the center crease line is sheeting off much lower than the section below that center crease mark. Now this is after washing the paint using CarPro Reset as my soap. And again, I'm seeing a little bit of that soap repellency function out of the Grio Ceramic 301 Wax slightly. It's not quite as aggressive as it was when it was fresh, but it is happening at a, at a much higher scale than what I'm seeing with the Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating. And this rinse here with the Grios is going to give me a lot of insight into answering the question of when it's time to really start thinking about topping your protectant. And the Griot section here is now showing signs of being fragile, especially above that center crease line on that body panel of the door. And when I was washing this section of the paint, I was using side to side motions with the wash mitt horizontally down the paint instead of up and down vertically. And if you look closely, you can kind of see that the water behavior is now following in that horizontal pattern, how I was going over the paint with the wash mitt. So that's what I mean when I say that protectants are in a fragile state, when the wash mitt has an impact in the water behavior like that. And you guys can see on the glass here, I mean, the glass is held up extremely well on the Griot side. And even on the Turtle Wax side, the Turtle Wax side, the glass is still holding up at a very good level too. And especially underneath that crease line section, uh, the ceramic spray coating is definitely sheeting off at a, at a very decent level. Again, the turtle wax is going to be not quite as hydrophobic as the Griot section when it's fresh. And the turtle wax is definitely going to showcase more of a sheeting style of performance over the months. Uh, and so this is still very decent level of performance underneath that crease line. But above the crease line it is definitely showing signs of being very tired. And so with the hybrid solution side, I'm always going to want to use the ceramic spray coating in conjunction with ceramic wet wax. I'm just, I'm always going to use that combination if I'm running ceramic spray coating as my main protectant. But with the Grio ceramic wax, I mean, its ability to maintain this level of hydrophobic durability over the months without any sorts of toppers is just very, very impressive. And I would say that compared to all the other consumer-based ceramic spray protectants or SIO2-based protectants that I've worked with, the Griot's Garage Ceramic 301 Wax has done the best job in maintaining its hydrophobic durability over the months. And then this rear quarter panel section back here has no protectants applied on top, so it's my control section that I'm using for this specific test. But I wanted to come out here, give you guys an update for how these two protectants are working, how they've held up on this paint. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. But I'm really itching to put the ceramic wet wax on top of the ceramic spray coating. Wet wax is such a good maintenance product for, for the Hybrid Solutions line. You know, especially when you're using it as a drying aid. But I, I kind of want to see how long we can get with that section underneath the crease line. How long the ceramic spray coating can really hold up. Uh, because that section of the paint, it is holding up at a very decent level still. But it's a very good question for guys that are wondering what's the best spray maintenance topper to use after applying ceramic 301 wax on top. Because this is currently Griot's only ceramic based product that they have in their lineup so far. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how Griot's is going to expand on their lineup and add additional products to it. 
Uh, but I have used Speed Shine on top of Ceramic 3-in-1 Wax with good results on the test panel. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys like these durability update videos, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate your guys' feedback. Definitely stay tuned for more test videos coming up in the future, guys. I will see you all in the next one.